DAS Audio presents The Vantech series inherits the exceptional sound quality and rugged build that have made DAS Professional Systems an international sound reinforcement standard. The Vantech series includes four powered systems and four passive systems. Vantech Series Active This series includes the 12 and 15 inch Vantech 12A and Vantech 15A powered two-way systems. The Vantech 215A powered three-way system with twin 15 inch loudspeakers and Vantech 18A powered subwoofer system with a single 18 inch speaker. Vantech 12A, 15A, 215A Signal input is accomplished by way of two Nutric combo connectors, XLR and jack, with an independent gain control for each channel. The gain allows you to amplify both line and microphone signals. The balanced XLR output connector is used for connecting several units and sending them all the same signal. The output selector allows you to choose which signal to send to the other cabinets, channel 1, channel 2, or a mix of both channels. The aux-in input provides a 3.5mm jack for connecting external audio multimedia devices, such as MP3 players. The aux-in input gain is controlled by the CH1 potentiometer. Models 12A, 15A, and 215A have an easy-to-use integrated DSP for easy adjustment of the entire system. Now we'll go into a detailed explanation of how to properly set up the cabinet's internal signal processor. Adjusting Levels The first thing to do after connecting to sound source or sources to the cabinet is to adjust the levels. Notice the input level indicators on the left of the display as we increase the gain. If the signal input is too high, the message Input Clip will be displayed in the center of the screen. After adjusting input levels, raise the output volume using the volume control. As you turn the knob, notice how the meter on the right shows the output volume level. Adjust it so that it is high, but avoid levels that trip the limiters, which is indicated by a limit message on the screen. Main Menu Now that the levels are adjusted, it is time to access the DSP settings. This is done by pressing the volume control, which brings us to the main menu. Turn the knob to run through various menu options. Press the volume control to access any of the configuration parameters. If you want to go back, select back on the screen and press volume control again. Presets The Vantech series has five presets Live, Dance, Vocals, Bass Boost, and Monitor. Depending on the preset selected, the equalization of the unit will change to adapt to the type of music or use required. Equalizer For a more precise adjustment, the Vantech system's DSP incorporates a three-band equalizer. The range of each brand is negative 10 to positive 6 decibels. The low and high bands are shelving type filters, whereas the mid band is a bell type filter at 630 Hz with a Q of 0.75. To change each EQ parameter, select the desired band, press the button, and turn the volume knob again to boost or attenuate that frequency band. HPF, or High Pass Filter. There are four available options when you access the HPF submenu. Off. The default filter is activated with a cutoff frequency of 50 Hz. 63 Hz. The High Pass Filter is activated with a cutoff frequency of 63 Hz. V18A. The High Pass Filter is activated for use in combination with the DAS Vantech 18A subwoofer. 100 Hz. The high pass filter is activated with a cutoff frequency of 100 Hz. Delay. In order to adjust the delay time of the unit, 
Access the delay submenu and press the button. Turning the knob allows you to increase the delay in 10 centimeter increments from 0 to 9.9 .9 meters. This allows you to time align the entire system, maintaining proper phase alignment. Expander The Vantec Series DSP features an expander. The expander acts like a noise gate, but with a more progressive behavior. It is ideal for situations where the cabinet is to be used in a very quiet environment, such as a theater. This option is disabled by default. Wireless Audio The wireless audio feature allows you to connect a tablet or smartphone to a maximum of two Vantec cabinets without the need for an external router or cables. The first thing to do when setting up wireless audio is to create a link between the devices. Go to the main menu and push the volume button to select wireless audio. And then again on the create new link option. When you create the link, you must choose whether a single cabinet or a pair of cabinets will be linked to the audio source. Choose the single L and R option if using a single cabinet. Now simply activate the wireless connection on your smartphone or tablet and select the Vantec cabinet to connect. Once the link has been established, the name of the connected device will appear on the screen and the speaker system will beep. As you can see, the channel 1 gain controls the input level. If a pair of cabinets is going to be used, the left cabinet should be configured as Master L and the right as Slave R. Go to the Create New Link for the left cabinet and select Master L mode. Then select the Slave R mode for the right cabinet. Finish by activating the wireless on your smartphone, tablet, etc. and selecting the Vantec cabinet. Options The Options submenu includes all non-audio related options like brightness and contrast. The Standby mode is an energy saving mode. The amplifier will go into standby if no signal is detected after the time limit set. DLY units makes it possible to change the delay units from meters to feet. The Reset Device option restores the device to factory default settings. DSP and wireless audio systems are also reset. The cabinet will unlink from all previously connected devices. Vantec 18A The Vantec 18A system has two combo input connectors, XLR and jack, and a control for level adjustment. If the limit indicator is permanently lit, lower the input level to avoid overloading the amplifier. The Output A and Output B connectors are balanced XLR signal outputs for connecting several satellite units. Pressing the THRU slash HPF switch sends filtered audio to the satellites with a high-pass filter set at 100 Hz. The Vantec 18A system also has a low-pass filter ranging from 80 to 125 Hz. We recommend selecting a cutoff frequency of 100 Hz. The phase switch reverses the polarity of the cabinet if needed. The preset deep slash loud switch changes the subwoofer equalization to lower frequency, or deep, or to give more punch, loud. As you can see, setting up a Vantec system is extremely fast and easy. The extensive amount of processor options, along with its sound quality and robust build, make the Vantec series the best choice on the market for a wide range of applications. For more detailed information, please download the free manual at dosaudio.com. Vantec series, at the vanguard of technology. DAS Audio